One Plus One and Android L received a lot of hype, and now the two clash together. This is Tyler Tech instructing you guys on how to install Android L on the One Plus One. One of the first steps is to make sure they have a substantial charging device. So obviously try not to perform this procedure when you're at 1% charge. One of our second to last pre-prep projects before flashing this is to make sure that you go to backup and then you make sure that all of your boot system and data is at least backed up. Cache is optional. And then just swipe to backup. I've already completed one though, but this way you have all your data backed up in case anything happens to go wrong. Once you get your backup made, it's also important to throw it onto your computer too. Just so that way in case you happen to end up getting your data wiped, which has happened to me before by accident. Um, you want to be able to have an extra backup just to be able to get back to. So pull up your internal storage year one and scroll down to your TWRP folder, copy it, and go over to your hard drive and just paste it in there. But I've already done it, as you can see, so I'm not going to do that again. Next, you're going to also want to make sure that you go to the Liquid Smooth site, go to Downloads, to Nightly Builds, and scroll down to the One Plus One. And so this may eventually become an official build, but right now it's just Nightly. Um, here is your uh, lemon meringue pie, aka the Android L build from 11.21.14. I've tested the 11.14.2014 build, and that is very stable. But for now, I'm just going to choose the latest and greatest. Hopefully, download that. And also, you'll need some Google Gaps or Google Apps to go along with that. So just head over to the Basket Build site and download the Android 5.0 CM12 Gaps. Those work flawlessly. All right, and once those are done, you can quickly just show them in folder, find them, there's my gaps, and there is my actual OS. I'll copy those and move them over to the A001. I'll just paste them in the root directory and wait for those to transfer. All right, and once those two files have transferred, you are now ready to continue the setup on the rest of the device. Once you're inside of recovery, you'll want to be able to go to wipe and then go to advanced wipe and then you want to go and wipe data system dalvik cache and your cache and once those items are checked you want to swipe to wipe back 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 install and now from here you have all your files that are in the root directory so those were not deleted so now you can go and just click on the latest nightly of CM 5.0 once that complete you can go back and click on the Google Apps that you downloaded earlier Confirm that flash. And click Reboot System. Alright, and about three minutes later we are at the beautiful, beautiful welcome screen now. With our nice welcome. We'll just go through that. I was searching for Wi-Fi networks and so forth and from here you can proceed to go and restore the device to a backup or put your old data back onto it and you will be running 5.0 lollipop on your one plus one all right all done with the setup process and now we are running android 5.0 it's very liquid smooth and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see more like this be sure to subscribe and like this video if you really appreciated it and thank you guys for watching.